Chakras blocked over day 28. So it's time to get these faux locks out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the back and then I'll be to you guys when I get to the front. So, okay, you guys. So I took the back down. I know I'm looking super duper crazy. So I just wanted to show y'all how I um, take the locks down. So, of course, y'all know the little seashells on the rubber bands. I showed y'all that in one of my later videos. So I just pulled the um, rubber bands off. So for me, because my hair was puffing up at um, the end of where I was doing my twist at, the twist part until I, before I started the butterfly locks, I just cut up under there. Now, the way that I'm doing it, well, side note, the only items that I'm using is a pair of scissors and and um, a rat tooth comb that's it so the way that I do it is um, once I, I do the regular method that I think like beauticians or whoever do it but they probably have a better technique of making them a little bit more um, sturdy I like mine a little bit loose so it's easier to take down so I pretty much just pull from the base and just unravel the little wrap around um, the at the base of my hair I put braided hair and then I overlay that with the actual um, hair that I use I guess that was like Marley hair it's two different types here i remember to uh, actually do the butterfly lock so um you guys this is how i take my rubber bands out now i do soak my rubber bands and cast the oil before i put them in my hair so i like to get like two pieces of the rubber band and for me um the thing that i do is i do not close down the scissors i literally just like use the blade part of the scissors just to pop the rubber band that ensures for me that i'm not going to um cut any of my hair yeah, when I tell y'all, it's been so long since um I cut my hair, I didn't even realize it. So I definitely wanted to do a um length check with you guys. So later on in the video, my timing is a little bit off. Um, I did get my hair cut in 2020. I kept my hair cut for I'm a, it, about about two years, y'all. About two years. I've been growing my hair out now for about a year and some change. It hasn't even quite been two years yet. Um, and I'll talk about why a little later on in the video. But y'all, I was trying to take these locks out because, ooh, baby. I had a lot of, um, my scalp was real, real dry. It was getting flaky. And I said, mm -mm, no, no, it was itchy. It was looking crazy. But I do want to do this style over and just doing a little better technique, maybe braiding my hair down instead of just wrapping the hair around it. So y'all, so I'm almost done. It feels so great. At first I was taking it down and then taking the rubber band off, but now I'm just like, I'm going to take it down and take the rubber bands off later. So, um, yeah, you guys, it felt really, really good to get everything out. I got to get a nice little scratch. So I'm going to get it together. Then I'll come back and we'll do a lane check. So, hey, y'all. So, I just made it look a little bit more presentable so I can do my lane check. So, I'm um, side note. So, I color my hair like in february 2020 maybe june 2020 and so i kept my hair short for about a year and some change and then i started growing it back out because the color like you guys could see a little bit of the remnants of the color um i may have colored my hair it was permanent coloring and i may have colored my hair like maybe like five times throughout the whole process but when i tell y'all it broke my crown off so freaking bad now i know i need my ends clipped like nobody business but it, it broke my crown off so freaking bad. So I put a picture up of what my hair looked like in 2020 after I did the big chop. Somewhere on the screen somewhere. So I'm going to take my glasses off so we could just go ahead and do a lame check. You guys see how short my hair was at first. So the front of my hair after we're being that length for two years, uh, two years growth, the front. Like, this is all... So, I wouldn't even count this. I really just count it here. So, the hair is here. Let's do the sides. I can't wait to edit this and post this, y'all, because I'm jumping dead in the shower to get all this hair off of me. So, sad note, when I got my hair cut, I let it grow. I had let it grow out a little bit, and then I ended up getting my sides cut shorter than the top. So, it was kind of like cut shorter here, and then it was higher up top. So that it had like a cute little, it was a nice like feminine look that I like. So let me get the other side. So in the end, when I when I decided to start growing my hair out, it was actually looking crazy because the sides were way shorter than the top. So these are my sides. They're about they're about even. This one feels like a little. I don't know. They're about even. What you guys think? Yeah, so I think they're about even. 
those are the sides and then we'll do the back of the hair I'm like I'm just gonna detangle it with my fingers because I to take a shower I'm gonna end up washing it in the kitchen the whole reason I took the hair down is because I scratched my hair yesterday and oh my scalp was so damn dry it was crazy so these are my sides in the back so like almost to the collarbone like fully stretched so they're like here let me put my glasses on y'all so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> I can't see that damn thing. okay so this is the back these are the sides this is the front Now y'all, the crown, when I tell y'all the crown was so short y'all, I couldn't even pinch it and that was a big part of the reason why I stopped getting the haircuts because I'm like, I need to grow it back. Y'all look at my crown. Look how broke off my crown is. And it's like the whole crown part. I made some homemade peppermint oil and I was putting that on my hair and it really, really helped it out a lot the protective styles have been growing it the most which is why i keep a protective style in my hair but i don't know if y'all can see that y'all see how short this is let me see let me see if i get y'all any closer i don't know i don't want to get too close this is the length y'all look at this look how broken off this middle set now this is this is long compared to where it was at first y'all i could not even grab it i couldn't even pinch it to do this so this has been not two years ago but maybe like yeah i'm gonna say two well no it's it's been so i got my hair cut in 2020 i kept it to 2021 2022 20, almost two years february would make it about two years y'all and from it wouldn't even grow it, it didn't even grow like it had broke all the way off y'all and then it just stayed broke off and that's when i got on youtube and started doing my research and they were like oh you know you could use peppermint oil and then i used the peppermint oil and it was like this shit started growing like immediately y'all and so this is where i am now with it i'm gonna continue to do everything that i'm doing but when i tell y'all this is a huge when i tell y'all a huge difference this is a huge difference and i know that once i get my ends clipped y'all it's going to grow even better. Oh, this hair look a mess, y'all. It look crazy, but I just took it down, so. So, yeah, you guys. So, that is it. Ooh, this hair look a mess, y'all.